Chelsea nil, Spurs nil. Uh, Jürgen, from a Tottenham perspective, how do you sum this game up? Well, from a Spurs perspective, very positive. It's a, it's, it's a tie, it's a, it's a point uh, against a, a big rival. Um, and don't, don't forget, it's, 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 it's difficult to keep them in place, you know, so don't have them get three points. Meanwhile, you maybe only get one point. So, so they're looking good. I mean, they are they're on course and uh, um, it's going to be a, a very exciting uh, Premier League uh, championship this year. Maybe an exciting Premier League race, Gab, but overall, from a neutral's point of view, that second half wasn't exactly scintillating. No, look, if you want to see goals and mistakes, you know, uh, mistakes lead to goals, which then lead to more goals, right? Um, I thought Spurs played very well in the first half. Uh, I think there was a period in the second half where they, I don't know if they, they ran out of steam or maybe Chelsea were just in the, in, in the ascendancy, but I thought that after the break, that was a moment for Chelsea to strike and, and they weren't able to. But I think we also need to give credit to Spurs because, you know, to, to, to chuck a guy like, like Roden in there, um, you know, alongside Eric Dyer, and to be able to to outlast Chelsea, both when you're you know, you're pressing high and, and and pressing effectively like you were in the first half, and in the second half where basically you just keep giving the ball back to Chelsea over and over again, and you're constantly under pressure. I think that's a credit to Spurs. We talk about proper number nines, Jurgen Cavani, very much up there in that conversation. Absolutely, and that's that's really fun to watch because the. Uh, those players are difference makers. You know, we're always looking for difference makers. So who's going to put put uh, his stamp on the game? Like today with, with Napoli Roma, we look at Czech or we, we look at Mertens. You know, who's going to be the difference makers? And, and Edison Cavani is a difference maker. Even if he comes in only from the bench, you know, he can change uh, a game around in, in, in two minutes. And this is uh, fantastic to see. And uh, I mean, me as a former number nine, I just love that. <laughs> God, what were PSG doing letting him go? The guy makes a, made a ton of money. He was getting older. They had Icardi. Uh, they had a young man named Kylian Mbappe who was pretty useful himself. And they said, you know, uh, it's time to move on. But look, I, I was a fan of this signing. He's making, again, he's on an enormous salary, but he was a free transfer. He has a short-term contract. Um, but I think, look, Cavani's going to take the headlines, but I think we all should, should give a little bit of credit to United because against the Southampton team who are flying, I thought they played, they played really well um, earlier in the game uh, as well. We're a little bit unlucky to go two goals down with better finishing. Uh, I think it would have been a different, it would have been, been a different story. And, you know, despite their, their injury time winner, I thought they deserved all three points and they got them. Yeah, they were, they were excellent, especially with the introduction of Cavani. Yeah, a true number nine. It's the way forward now. For uh, United, well, a lot of, of former Manchester United players have been seeing exactly that during the course of this week. That the one thing that this current team is lacking is a true centre forward. Rashford says he, he wants to play there, but I don't think that that's his best position. And you see that with, with the England national team. Uh, Greenwood isn't it, certainly not yet at the very least. Martial far too inconsistent and all of a sudden you have Enzo Cavani comes in and totally transforms the way that Manchester United plays. It shows what's been missing for, for quite some time, what they need given Enzo Cavani's age uh, and, and how much, how much they, they need that authentic centre forward in terms of in terms of where they go from here. Well, let's just remind you then how things stand in the Premier League table after that result. Chelsea uh, top, I'm oh, sorry, Tottenham top uh, with that point, uh, level on points with Liverpool. Meanwhile, for Manchester United, that victory lifts them up to seventh in the table. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.